How they thinking they gonna come and conquer us? Lil Mini Cooper hating on a monster truck. Ponder such, I have you up a yonder stuff. Not in there, not a breath of. Hey everybody, it's Bobby93 MacBoy, just a real quick Mac video for you guys today. Now what I'm going to be showing you guys today is an application called Doc Spaces. Now what Doc Spaces lets you do is it allows you to have multiple different docs for different things and it allows you to easily change them and customize them whenever you want. So say you want to have one doc for all your movie editing, one doc for all your downloading free applications, one doc for all your internet use, and one normal doc with all your normal stuff on it this application will allow you to do that and change them easily with a shortcut key so I'm gonna be going over the preference pane in this application showing you guys how to add docs what how to use this application and then give you guys some demos so right now I'm just gonna show you guys the two docs that I have set right here as you guys see I have all applications that require the internet except for um, like spaces and system pre er, yeah, system preferences and screen lock but these are all applications that I use whenever I'm trying to intensely use the internet. So this is just an example of one doc. And say I want to change to my doc, like I also have a doc that I use for when I'm downloading applications from the internet or downloading anything from the internet. So I'll show you guys how to change that. So my command key is command 2 for the second doc. And it tells you what the doc is called, and I called it free apps. And as you guys see, I have my uh, Safari, iTunes, Mail, GetTube for music, App Zapper for deleting apps, Torrent Reader, J Downloader, Text Edit for like writing down serials, two serial applications, Audio Hijack Pro, Toast Titanium, and Bodega. Just showing you guys that you can have multiple different docs. And then if I want to switch back to the other doc I had switches back really quickly and seamlessly through the application it also has a menu bar icon which right here and you can also change them within the menu so say I want to go to internet you can change it up here instead of using commands you can also quit the application so it won't change around so now I'm going to open the preference pane and this is what it looks like you can also do this by clicking on the application icon which is right here it's like this colorful little abyss with like a dock on it it's pretty nice so here is your preface pane and uh, the first drop down or whatever is called general and you can turn off the menu bar icon I like it up there borderless panel don't really know what that is new dock um, it makes a copy of the selection that you have or already like so say I want to add a new dock you can change your current dock around and then that will be the new dock uh, you can set what your hotkey is if you don't want one and that kind of stuff you can also choose your own you can make windows always on top windows join all spaces hide windows and launch or you can disable the dock icon now one downside of this application is it does have to be running in order for you to be able to switch docks as easily as i showed you guys but they did add a nice little feature where you can disable the icon from your dock if you don't want it just sitting here and kind of another open application making your desktop look more cluttered this uh, this disabled dock icon really does help I did use it and um, as you guys see the icon is not in my dock but it is still active so now this is how you add docs now this this is like a little they call it a table and it shows you all the different docs that you've made and in order for you to add a new dock you uh, what you do is you right click or like control click on free space and then say load uh, if there's a dock there you can load the dock that is there you can add a dock or delete a dock that is not being used and they also have shortcuts here so you can do command equal command return command delete whatever so uh, that's how you add new docs and it's pretty simple so say I wanted to add a dock with just I'm just gonna add handbrake to this dock so now I right click here and say add new dock and it's called new dock 3 and it will load the dock in a second alright oh no this is the dock yeah, it changes hold up fuck yeah so that's pretty much how you add a new dock and get started with this application I'm still playing around with it because I haven't been using it for that long I just thought I'd let you guys know how it works it's a pretty good application it does work another nice feature of this application is you can um, enable a dock per spaces so say you're first say you have four spaces like I do 
I also have an external monitor, another monitor, so that's why it looks kind of weird. But so say you want this space right here to be your music space, this space to be your uh, internet, this one to be school, and this one to be, I don't know, games. So you have a dock here with all your games, a dock here with all your school, I think, or which one was this, internet, and this is school, and this is music. So it's pretty nice. So when you switch spaces, it will switch the dock for you automatically, which is another nice feature of this application. Then there's just some more... Um, options it also like many other applications it allows you to change the formatting of your dock it's very simple a uh, smart setup this is just another preference you can have it so um, you can change the rows and columns and there is a update you can also check for updates now this is a free application and I did get it off bodega which I made a video on yesterday showing you guys how so make sure you check out this video and you guys can check out this application it's a good application I'm gonna be using it um, I highly recommend it you guys make sure you rate comment and subscribe on this video comment down below letting me know what you think of this video I'm interested to see if any of you guys have been using this or if there's another application that does the same thing or does it better let me guys let me know you guys so this is Bobby 93 Mac boy thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace